The name of the story is The Golden Sled. Once upon a time, when Christmas was coming, there was a little brown bear who wanted a sled very much. He started to write a letter to Santa Claus, and then he began to wonder what color of sled he wanted. Let's see, said the little bear. Let me see. Some bears like red things best, but I'm not that kind of a bear. Some bears like blue things, but I'm not that kind of a bear either. He remembered hearing about a little bear who wanted his whole room painted purple. Purple, 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 everywhere, said the little brown bear. Now I wouldn't like that at all. And he began to look around the dining room to see what color he liked the best. There was a tall white chocolate pot with golden flowers on it. Those flowers were wonderfully shiny. There was a black chair with a golden squiggle on the back. It was a gay chair, very nice for rocking oneself in. And the little bear thought the golden squiggles made it look even nicer. There was a golden clock that ticked merrily, tick tock, tick tock. And there was a fat round jar with letters on it. The letters were golden. They spelt H-O-N-E-Y. Honey, laughed the little bear. Golden letters spell honey and honey is golden and golden gold is the color I like the best. So he put that in his letter. Please bring me a golden sled. A golden sled, said his mother when she saw the letter. Oh my, you'll have to be a very good bear to have a golden sled. Yes, indeed, said his father. You'll have to be just as good as gold. Well, I just will, said the little bear. I'll just be the very best bear ever. He brushed his fur suit until it was fluffy and shiny, put on his warm fur cap, and hurried out to mail his letter. Oh my, said Santa Claus when he read the letter. A golden sled? Well, here's a problem for me. Golden paint is the hardest to get. Golden paint is what I have the least of. And here's a little bear that wants a whole sled painted golden. He thought about what he was going to do when he was making the sled and he shook his head. When the sled was all finished except for paint, Santa Claus looked at his little jar of golden paint. It would take every last drop to paint this sled, he said. I wouldn't have one smidgen left to put on anyone else's engine or anybody's chair or anybody's baby doll locket. And then Santa Claus decided he would have a good look at this good little bear who wanted a golden sled. So he whizzed up his chimney, climbed out on his roof and sat down. He took out his spyglass and pointed it at the little bear's house. He turned it a bit this way and a bit that way to see better. Now Santa Claus could see the little bear and oh my, he could hardly believe his eyes. First he saw the little bear making his own bed, neat and tidy, tight as a drum. Then he saw the little bear eating his breakfast, good as gold with a yum, yum, yum. He saw the little bear drying the dishes and putting them away, sweeping the porch and putting all the rubber boots in a row, easy to find. Santa Claus saw the little bear going to the store with a long list and not forgetting anything. And he saw that the little bear was helping old bears cross the street and minding baby bears for their mothers and saying, yes, ma'am, and no, sir, with the kindest and most friendly of smiles. All this time, Santa could see that the little bear's little heart was shining right through his furry coat. It was dancing a happy dance, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, and it was shining, it was a shining heart, golden as golden, because the little bear was so good. Well, I declare, cried Santa Claus, this little bear, this good little bear who wants the golden sled has a heart of gold too. That made Santa Claus think twice. He whizzed down his chimney, took out his little jar of golden paint in one hand and searched in his paint box way down to the bottom and found a little jar of silver paint too. That does it, he grinned. I can put silver on all the engines instead of gold. I can put silver on all the chairs. And this year, everybody's doll baby will have a silver locket instead of a gold one. Humming to himself, Santa Claus dipped a brush into the golden paint and began to paint the little bear's sled. When the little jar of paint was empty, with not a smidgen of paint left, the sled was all painted shiny, bright, glittering, glistening, sparkling gold. And when the good little bear woke up on Christmas morning and put on his slippers and scampered downstairs, 
There was a sled under the tree, golden as golden. Oh, lovely, he whispered, and I never did think I'd get a whole golden sled. I never did think I could be good enough. He, his mother kissed him and said, why, you're the best little bear in the whole world. His father patted his head and said, yes, sir, you're just as good as gold. The little brown bear said, Merry Christmas to his father and mother. He put on his mitts, his cap and his boots, took out his shining golden sled and went out into the snowy Christmas day. And he went coasting down the white hill, past the dark green trees, thinking, a great, big, bright, and golden Merry Christmas to everybody in the world and in this whole big, shining, shining, golden world. Merry Christmas!